Hello. Working on a transit. So, oh, just had my lunch. I'll walk you through what I'm up to. And um, I've already started it and I thought halfway, well, not halfway through, about one tenth of the way through I've gone. This might make a decent video, this, so here we are. I'll explain what I'm up to. Here we can see the infamous Eco Blue engine. So here is the Eco Blue engine. And if I get my torch, I'll put my spoon down. Oh. Can you see what is going on here? The wet belt's come off, it's gone kablamo. Engine is dead. So the engine's died, um, got diagnosed by another garage. And then I got asked to do the job. So this is the engine. Supposedly you can fix these by putting a rocker box on, etc., etc. But the customer said, I want this putting in. So here we have a full running, driving engine and gearbox here from an Eco Blue, another one. So we now have two engines. This has a gearbox on it, everything's on it, she's ready to go. Obviously needs a loom swapping over and a few boost pipes, but she's there. So the plan of action is engine out of this. So the engine's coming out of this. Um, my good pal is a Ford Transit Master Tech. So he's coming later on after work at about six o'clock. And that engine over there, we're gonna put a wet belt on that engine over there. Put a wet belt on it, clean the screen, and do, do a proper job like the dealer would. And then we're gonna get that engine and gearbox and flop it in there. And then it should be done. Um, so I'm probably just gonna time lapse a few bits because I'm not 100%, I'm not a Ford guy, am I? So, I know what I'm doing to some extent, it's just the engine, isn't it, at the end of the day? I'm just gonna get this out in preparation for him tonight. And once he comes here tonight, hopefully he's okay with a bit of time-lapse action on when he's doing wet belt and supply. It should be a good video. So yeah, see you guys soon. I will set up the camera in a minute. So before starting this job, I liaised with my friend Callum and asked him how he likes to do the engine because he's the man for the job. I thought I'd do it exactly how he likes to do these. So he said, unpick the loom from the powertrain control module. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, moving on to that, we're just doing the clutch pipe and the, I'm oh, sorry, not the clutch pipe. We're just carrying out with the loom for the alternator and the starter motor, which is the bigger loom. And I'm just deep picking it like this. It's fairly straightforward. The looms are actually really straightforward on these. It's nothing to really rave home about. Come apart very easy, these vans. I'm, I'm not, I'm not begrudged to work on them really. Um, as you can see, just keep undoing stuff. Moving the loom was number one priority in getting that tossed over the near side front chassis leg, um, which I'm doing there. Um, just clearing up here, just getting some boost pipes off. Some of the big clunky stuff, which is um, getting in my way. If I was a transit technician, I probably wouldn't do some of these things, but I did because I've never really done one before. Aircon pipes off there from the compressor. Um, also, I got advice to swing the power steering pump over the um, offside front chassis leg like that and cable tight out the way and that um, means you don't have to uh, mess around with any power steering fluid. So that is quite simple. There's some brackets down by the side of the engine which I did. Um, some of the big coolant pipes and the matrix pipes. Those are all getting tossed over to one side as well. Just all very straightforward basic stuff gear cables off here. Um, I undid it by the bracket because I really struggle with Ford gear cables. Whenever I do them, I just struggle. So I just thought, I'm just gonna bolt it off the bracket. Um, clutch pipe off with a nice bung on it and a clamp. Trying to find the right size on there. And there's also a rubber, rubber little rubber pipe behind that into the concentric okay, slave. So the front of the don't engine, forget that. Power steering pump is off and just chucked over there. Hmm. What's left to get this engine out? Probably this pipe here at the back. That needs to be undone. All that, all that is done. Cables are off. Need to go underneath, take the drive shaft out, and then Bob's your uncle. We'll smash it. Okay, so probably not going to go too mad with the voiceovers. I'm just going to probably get to the point where the engine is put in, and then I'll leave you guys to it. So, hub nuts off, ball joints out. Um, gearbox drained and yeah just get the shafts out ready for the engine removal um, again all very straightforward stuff nothing to rave home about very easy to work on with the front end removed you can see everything 
and if you can't see everything you must be blind um so yeah i'll just leave you to some time lapses for a bit and you can watch me struggle getting the engine out because i struggled getting the engine out. i don't like taking engines out on my own it's um it's a bit difficult but yeah enjoy these little clips here Suspension, both sides, and there's three different things, you know, three different types. So, you know, send me all three. You want to go in? You know, no, I'm not. What's going on? They are tight, them, aren't they? We need that tier tool for this. Your fingers.
No, because of the fuel. Fuel pipes are on and stuff, yeah? That'll do, won't it? Let's go on. Bob. So my friend Calm's a big advocate for leaving the sea on overnight, hence why we ran the car for 10 seconds and that was it. This is also Callum's car, C63 AMG, super cool. Now then boys, um, engine's in, running, as you've just seen. Didn't film much, we were on a time schedule. I hi hired my pal to come and do, help me and do wet belts. I've never done one before, so hired him. Last things to do now is, the horn has been previously bodged with a spade connector and the spade connector has broken. So, bodge in the morning is new spade connector on the horn, put that on, put the bumper on, Headlights in, wheels on. I need to do injector coding and yeah, injector coding, maybe a pilot correction if my machine will do it. And then run it up to 10, bleed the cool, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and all the other relations you've never heard of. So I'll probably catch up with you in the morning. It's now 10.56, says the Blingo, so 11 p.m. Our pal was here at six, so we've done very, very well to get what we've got done, done. So tomorrow morning is get in, tidy up first thing, tidy up because it's going to be carnage in the daylight when we get there. Tidy up, the big, big tidy up, and then from there, um, yeah, just carry on with the jobs. Carry on with the jobs. The sealant will have gone off properly so we can run it up to 10. And she's done. She will be golden. And then do a bill, get paid, maybe go home. Don't know what else I've got on. I don't know if I've got supposedly a mini gearbox I need to do as well, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. We'll see how it goes. I'm just a bit tired now. Not thinking straight. Catch you in the morning, dudes. The old engine. The new engine in the van with the new wet belt. Here is the carnage from last night. Not as bad as I thought. I thought it would be much worse than this, so that's not too bad. This is not mine, so let's go and return this. And then, yeah, let's crack on. Here's a beauty! She's a good one. Whoa, big speed bump. Whoa, she's a good one, boy. Mate, really appreciate it. Fucking Callum coming here doing this job with me. Wow, look at this engine. She's a beauty. She runs beautiful. So happy with this. So happy. Glad it's done. Sun's shining. We're laughing. Injector's coded. She's done. She's done. Not a bad job, then, actually, then engines and wet belts not a bad job at all can't really grumble they're a decent job they're a decent job let me just try and lock this fan up. i don't know how to lock this fan i don't know how to lock it um it's got these weird deadlocks on it but then it only has a key like that oh how do you even lock these things i don't know i'll just hmm i'll probably just um go like this oh there you go wow that's smart isn't it it works on the actual door look there you go, transit, engine, wet belt, jobs are good and see you later. Let's go back inside and crack on.